Hello everybody. Today we're going to make a bird feeder and we're going to use pine cones to do it. First of all, let me show you the two different types of pine cone we have. We've got a pine cone here and you notice pine cones are a bit like weather vanes. They're amazing. They open up when it gets warm and when it's dry. But when it's wet, they close like that. So the one on the left here has been on a warm windowsill for some time. So, the first thing you do is when you've collected your pine cones, is dry them out. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to melt some, well, we have lard here, left over, some leftover lard. If you're a vegan or something like that, you could use peanut butter, and you could do much the same thing. We also have a nice big bag of bird seed as well. So... All I wanted to do this evening, I'd usually do this outside over a fire. I'd melt the fat and put the seed in. Uh, but just for this evening, just for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to make one. So if you look inside there, I've melted the lard and the bird seed and cooled it so that it goes solid. This is really, really cheap, by the way. The bird seed's a few pounds and this is like 40 pence or something for the lard. So it's a really cheap way. And the birds love it, especially the blue tits. And it's really important at this time of year to feed the birds when it's cold because they get really hungry and they're really active now. They're building their nests and they're getting ready for the breeding season. They'll be laying their eggs and so on. So it's nice to feed them and encourage them in your garden so that you can get a good look at them as well. So I have some garden twine here, so I'm going to cut the length of garden twine. This is going to be to hang my pine cone on. And I'm going to tie a little knot. So I do this before I put the lard and the nuts, the seeds on, because otherwise it's going to get very mucky. So tying that on there like that. Just a little overhand knot on there. And there we are, hanging pine cone. There we are. Already a work of art. Right then, so now for the messy bit. So children love doing this. You get your hands in there. Oh, it's gone quite solid. And I'm going to work over my saucepan. And all I'm going to do now is pack my mix. There's no, don't worry about quantities with this. It's not a big deal. Just mix up a couple of handfuls of bird seed, And I'd say probably half a block of lard. And that will make you oh, a good three or four of these. And they're going to look lovely in your tree if you've got one in your garden. If you haven't got a garden, just take it out and hang it somewhere in nature where you might go and hang out and spend some time. And you could go and watch the birds there. And the great thing about these is that they're entirely biodegradable. There's no plastic or any waste. And when the birds are finished with it, it will go back into the ground. So here we are, packing my pine cone. Actually, this pine cone is so old, and it's so dry that the, the, the little fronds on it, the seeds are falling off. There we are, pack that all around. Keep going like this. Anyway, you get the idea. It's gonna look something like that at the end. I've got a little bit left. If I can get a bit more out of there. Pack it on as much as you like. And oh, one last really, really important thing we're making these is at this time of year, it's funny, isn't it? We can have it at minus two, like it is today, freezing cold, or it can be 15 degrees. So please don't hang these on a south facing, which is the sun side of a tree, because sometimes the fat or the lard, whatever you've used, might melt before the birds get a chance to eat it. And the next minute, you know, it's minus three and they're all hungry again. So there we are. That's how we make a really simple pine cone feeder, everybody. See you next week. Goodbye.